Hello! In this video, we're going to be comparing the Lego Harry Potter anniversary minifigures, better known as the golden minifigures, versus the counterpart minifigures. Now you might think, why compare these? Aren't they the same, but once in gold, and maybe had a few sparkles on? But no, there are actually a lot of differences. And uh, I'm not quite sure why, but we're going to look at them. So let's dive straight in. So I figured we'd start with the boy who lived, Harry Potter of course. Now I picked the one from the moment sets, because I thought it was the most accurate. Though it's not entirely accurate, like you can see the crest on there, it's a different type of crest. And initially I thought, oh, that's probably to be in line with this version of Harry, who comes in the sets. No, this is an entirely different crest too! So I, I don't know what's up with that. But other than that, you can see there are a few differences. Like, there's a line there on this one. That's not there on this one. You can also see the curve on the jumper here is a lot lower on the golden version. Spinning them around, there are not many differences. Obviously the back is not the same. All of these have that 20th anniversary printing. Now unfortunately there's no alternate face for Golden Harry, which I think is a real shame. But turning the back around, you can see this one is not the same either. Because here, this one has a little line under the mouth for the chin. This one does not have that. Oh, this one has a lot more of a sm This one's just more of a smirk or grin, whereas this one's a full-on kind-looking smile. And the scar on this one, it's it might just look like a little dot. You can't even you can hardly see it on camera. Whereas here, it's a lot bigger and a lot more prominent. Now for Ron, both of these Rons use the same torso as the, both the Harrys we just looked at. So there's nothing really new there. Going to spin around. Again, nothing new. No alternate face, again. But this one, they changed it a lot. Like, it, it's kind of difficult to pick up on camera. But you see that smile? It just doesn't look like Ron to me. Initially, I would have thought, oh, did I swap a head around or something? No. To me, this looks like one of those generic faces that's used on ten different characters in the same theme. But but n no, it's not. Look at these eyebrows. They they go they start high and go down. These don't. These just curve normally. Look at that eye, which is slightly cut off by the grin. Not there. Freckles, aren't it? Okay, I take that back. Freckles are there. They're just difficult to see. And look at the mouth. Like to me, this face is literally the most perfect face. Both expressions are the most perfect faces within Lego Harry Potter. I just think it's so perfect for this run. Why did they change it? I don't understand. Now for Hermione, she again uses the exact same torso, so, which is still odd. See, it is slightly covered by the hair here. Oh, if we go ahead and remove the hair, the clutch power is a little stronger on this hair. Again, no alternate face. But for the main face, very little difference. You can see this smile is more symmetrical and perfect, whereas this one is a little higher in one side. And again, there's no line under the mouth representing the chin like they normally do. And here we have Harry's favourite professor, of course, Professor Severus Snape. The golden figure is actually pretty close, I must say. It's not too far off, obviously, the back, still not. And no alternate face with this one. Turn it back around. The torso is actually very close. If we can get to see that printing on camera. Yeah, get the light to hit it just right. And this one has some purple lines up top here, but closer to the shoulders. In purple, of course. Here they are removed. I take it as to make room for sparkles. Other than that, the up here is slightly changed. Up here slightly slimmer and it curves more. And then the face is a, is quite different too. Like on here, he's got a little more curl on his mouth, uh, lips, I guess. And here he's got a really raised eyebrow. On here, he doesn't have that. He doesn't have the raised eyebrow. He doesn't have the curl on his mouth. To me, he looks kind of dead. Like there's no expression in him. I I love this face. Not necessarily for Alan Rickman, but for Severus Snape, it really gets that across really well. This one. Those lines around the mouth, I think, works well for Snape. 
but in gold, ugh, it just doesn't really work. I don't know how you get around that, but yeah, not the same and uh, not really for good either. And for the two-faced liar, haha, Professor Coral, he actually looked really, really good. He was also the first to get leaked, which is a complete coincidence, but you know, look, looks good, I think. And for a change, this one does have an alternate face. Now, we're going to come back to that, because uh, we're going to look at the torso first. For the torso, it's actually done pretty well. Let's see if we can get a good angle on this. There you are. I can't find any... Like, there might be slight thickness uh, variants in the lines, but that's... I think that's production variation anyway. Obviously, I don't have a hundred different samples from different places to test, of course. Uh, but torso, I couldn't find anything else. The face... Uh, they really, I mean, they still got the lines under the eyes and stuff. It does look like, I want to mention that with all of these, they do look like the same, like, you know, character print, just in a different expression. This one, he's kind of smiling, and then his eyebrows are down. So on one hand, he looks pretty innocent and happy to me. And on the other hand, it looks like a maniacal, kind of evil smile. So I don't know what to think of that. They should, this one I like, because it looks kind of... Insecure, kind of secretive, and also a bit scared, so no one really suspects him. Now for the Roldy face. Uh, see if we can get a good angle so you can really see it. It's very similar, except this one is at an angle, which I always found kind of weird, and this one is straight. Now I don't know which one I prefer, but they're not the same. Honestly, I don't really mind them, quote-unquote, fixing that. I wouldn't say it's fixed, but changing it. But one thing I also do really like is this is printed on tan over here, and then this is printed on the shiny gold. So I think they got that across pretty well. But other than that, they're very minor differences. Like, the mouth is slightly different. than. But other than that, like, they didn't really change much other than, you know, rotating it to be straight. Now for Voldemort, I'm honestly quite surprised they went with the Deathly Hollows outfit. Not because it's furthest away from the first films. No, it's just because this minifigure was a collectible minifigure. Uh, so therefore, he was diff more difficult to get than the one that just came in sets. But I don't mind it. I actually quite like it. But if we go ahead and spin him around, you see not many differences. One of the main differences is in the plastic is these hands here, they kind of have little indents in them, which I didn't like from the first CMF series. Another thing I didn't like was a lot of figures had with no back printing, alternate face, like, just the back printing made it really fall apart for me. But anyway, this isn't about the first CMF series, this is about these figures. So, honestly, I couldn't really find anything. The one thing that did surprise me was, here the lines are all black. Whereas here they've gone with two colours, which done that with a lot of the others too, which really surprised me. But it does add another layer of depth. And I, other than that, I couldn't really find anything different about this one. So all in all, does that mean I hate these golden figures because they're not entirely accurate? No, of course not. I quite like the golden figures. Now, with some of the facial expressions, I do wish that I just kept the original one. There might be reason for them changing. It might not have looked good in the original one. I wouldn't know. But I do wish they tried it, at least. Also, I don't love the golden figures. Now, that's not the printing on them. It's not that... It's the fact that it's golden figures. Like... I think the golden figures work well for Ninjago because they actually have golden ninjas from that universe. I don't remember the scene where these six specific characters got turned into gold. Like, is, is there a version of Medusa in this universe that turns people into gold? Did, did I miss that part of the book? Or, or what, what happened? Good joke aside, I really would have liked to see what they did for Star Wars where they brought back the old minifigures and then, sure, slap this print on the back. I didn't mind that. I thought that was good. So you could tell they were 20th anniversary figures and not the original. Now, I get why. That would have required bringing back a lot of old moulds. Like for these figures in front of us. Harry's hairpiece. I think it's retired. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is. Hermione's. I'm pretty sure it's retired. Ron's. I think it is, but it could also still be in use. Snape's was retired. Quirrell's turban was re retired. Do, do you see? Also... I find the selection of these figures very, very odd. Personally, I think they're coming out with more. 
Could Harry, Ron, Hermione, obviously. Now, Snape, Voldemort, and Quirrell, I have no problem with them picking. Just over someone like Dumbledore? Hagrid? McGonagall? Now, maybe not Hagrid, because there's a lot of big pieces and stuff. But, still. What about Malfoy? Or Drake, Draco Malfoy, that is. And Dumbledore and McGonagall. Now, I think that's more. That's even more proof than just me theorising. Well, not proof, really, but... So I have to back up my theory. When we were getting really, really early leaks... We saw Snape's hair in gold and a slicked back Draco Malfoy hairpiece in gold. Now, I can't think of any characters who would use that hairpiece in gold other than the anniversary Malfoy. Now, it could have been that they decided not to put figures and say the forks and the uh, Harry and Hermione. That could be. Or it could be the last minute switched it out with Quirrell or Voldemort or Snape. I wouldn't know. I just find it very, very odd. But what do you think? Leave a comment. What do you think of these being changed? If you if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and bye!